I'm here with uh, Dr. Hector Garcia Garcia from MedStar Medical Center in Washington. We have been uh, collaborating for a very long yeah. time and, um, and, and continue to do so. Um, you have published actually, uh, say, the first paper in the United States with the QFR. I mean, we have lots of data about Europe and Asia, Asian country, but not, uh, not in the United States. And can you tell me a little bit about that study? Yeah, thank you, Hans, for the interview. And indeed, we have a long history working together. And um, in this particular study, we took our patient population from the MedStar Washington Hospital Center. We included 100 patients, consecutive patients that we investigated first with invasive FFR, and we compared it to, um, to the QFR analysis. Uh, what is interesting about our population, and it's also unique, it's not unique because it's, it's done in the US, it's because the type of patient population that we included, uh, for example, black African-Americans, has never been studied in, in any other region of the world. And we know uh, black African American have different type of coronary artery disease. So it was very important for us to, to explore that. And what we saw is that we, we could confirm that actually uh, QFR has a very good accuracy in this type of patients as well. So uh, as a matter of fact, we were so excited about these uh, um, results that now we want to increase our population of black African Americans to specifically also look into female and, and, and compare that uh, uh, accuracy of QFR in those uh, type of patients. So and, this and that is also data that is quite new, right? It has not been done before. Never before and actually not even with invasive uh, FFR. So there are not specific uh, physiology studies those done in those type of patients. So it's very important for the community because in the U.S. is a very large uh, uh, population that is being treated for these problems. So we need to have specific data. Well, that is fantastic and certainly look forward to that. We also have been um, uh, working, of course, on the further automation. Yes. Uh, you have also a, a, a manuscript that we tried to get published. That's correct. Where you have also compared our auto frame count yes. with manual frame count. And correct. I believe also uh, very good, good results, right? Yeah, um, so we were happy to, you know, compare the original, uh, which is manual, visual-based uh, theme frame counting versus the new algorithm that does it fully automated. And first, we confirmed that the workflow really improved and it makes the analysis much faster. But even more important, the result we got with the automated team frame counting is very similar to the, to the manual. And, and that is very reassuring because there is no data out there showing that this is actually similar or comparable. Yeah. So we are um, uh, going to get that out. Uh, there was an abstract presented at CRT, so we have yeah, the, yeah. the data out in the form of an abstract, but now we want the full manuscript to be published. Yeah, yeah. yeah and that is, uh, as you know, we have lots of, uh, lots of data, peer-reviewed publications, and this adds on to that uh, you know, significant more than 150 in the meantime, so <laughs> very soon more than 160. Wow, <laughs> and, congratulations. Uh, and, and, and that will also add to, to that pile of, uh, of, of clinical evidence. And uh, I mean, we are doing many things together. We're very happy also with your feedback on new features, new approaches, new automation, and like to get also your feedback on that and with the data that you have at your core lab. Certainly. You, you can very easily compare the new, new steps that we are making in um, yeah, how that improves uh, the simplicity and automation and not losing accuracy. I mean, Definitely. Now I'm with you. I think it's very important to test that in a structure and uh, in, in very well regulated environment like a core lab. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, Hans. Yeah. It's always a pleasure to get interviews from you and uh, looking forward to new developments from QFR. Thank you so much, Thank Hector. You. I know you have been here in Europe now for some some more time than maybe uh, That's true. <laughs> anticipated, but uh, That's true. <laughs> ready to go back to the States, I guess. Yeah, let's uh, prepare that. But we still have one or two days more to enjoy uh, Paris, and then we are heading back. Okay, very Thank good. you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.